let me just go over this and explain it to you. The whole idea is to let flower shops be aware of the services that we offer them. And one of the most important things is integrity, okay? There are companies out there <clears throat> like Bloom Nation that are setting up websites for people. And then what they're doing that you're going to be amazed over is really... Um, well, I'll, I'll let you just see. You tell me what you think about it. Right. So you go to Chandler Flowers and you scroll down. because You've got to identify what shop you're talking to. If you want to bring our services to a shop, it's important that you understand what website their platform is on. Okay. Okay. And where do I find it? So you scroll down, you read the About Us. See down here, Top Verified Reviews, okay. 614. What do you think those are? A lot of reviews. Right. Of, that they have from previous sales. And you would probably think they were pretty good. Uh, or Google. These are not Google. Okay. A lot of people think by default these are Google. These are not Google reviews. 614. They really worked hard to get them, but they're only here. They're not on Google. And maybe some are, but the point is these are best of Bloom Nation. So, so you, you can only find those reviews by being on their site. Pretty much. I think some of them may be Google, but. People assume that it's automatically Google, but that's not really the concern. Here's where it's at. If you wanted to make a large purchase, say for an anniversary or a sympathy, and you're going to spend a lot of money, you might review someone's reviews, right? right. Take a look at them. To make sure they have good service. Of course, to see what people are saying about them. So you click on the 614, and where are you? I'm at Chandler Flowers, Okay. and I'm going to read some of their reviews. Sure, and you think you're at Chandler Flowers, right? Right. Are you? Well, What's up here? It says bloom nation exactly com. right there so i've not i'm not on channel you're flowers. not on channel flowers so let's continue let's just say you didn't notice that okay let's just say you want to go back there's no back button no they okay. removed it they removed so it. how can you go back to you, the website you don't go back to the website so you've um, left their website right? to read their reviews and it put you on bloom nation's website. correct technically let me just say this after really looking at normally you click on the logo and it takes you back yeah but the truth is they buried it right here they put it right there so you could technically go back but why would you disable the back button is my question right why would you make somebody have to find it okay this is just really sneaky so let's continue on now you've read the reviews you're you're, you're feeling confident that they're really strong now what is it that you want to send flowers for uh it's an anniversary okay so we'll click on anniversary and there you go. It looks, it looks like Chandler's offerings. Okay. And what would you select here? Uh, go with Designer's Choice. Okay. Designer's Choice it is. First of all, wow, $249. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Well, the, the point about Designer's Choice, a... but, but the main thing about it, Christine, is that Designer's Choice was really meant for the lower priced items where if somebody wants some flowers for 40 or $50, you don't want them to select an item that's got to be made to a picture. Right. You want them to just gather up flowers, make the bouquet, and send it out the door. Right. But you go from $249 to, um, what was the next price point? Can't get my cursor here. Deluxe at $299. I'll tell you right now, $399, I'll guarantee you they haven't sold one item for $399 like this. There's People won't spend that kind of money. Large arrangement yeah, that. But, but would you spend $399 not knowing what you're no, going to get? Because, but, but you may have $50. Right. Because okay. I don't even know what kind of container it's in. For exactly. $399, I would expect to see something. All right. But this is not even the case. Because right now, you're on Bloom Nation's website. So let's just say you, you select the as shown. And what is the as shown? nothing <laughs> exactly so you go to click the order now button and you are now oh select the delivery date so let's just say um you're going to select monday and you click order now where did you go blue nation's website so i'm not even on chandler flowers no nope. no nope. where's it's, there's no there's no hint of chandler flowers anywhere i up don't here. see it anywhere no it there you go look like the same page no it's not so now you're on a whole different experience, and this is my point. They're stealing, in my opinion, this is misleading people away from the site that they first intended to shop at. Now, look, you can go back. Check it out, Christine. Look, yeah, back here. Yeah. Back again. But it stops. And it stops here. It will not let you go any further. So they disabled the back button, and yet you call up a flower shop, and they think you're trying to sell them. 
the, at the end of the day, we all need to work together. And what you want to do is reach out to flower shops and let them know we're here for them. Yes, we need them. We need florists to stay in business. But if we're able to help them and protect their integrity and their brand, why wouldn't they want to work with us? For $2.99 a month, I mean, is it really a big deal? Well, they're losing a percentage of their sale, aren't they? If why is that going to bloom already? Not why is that right. going to bloom nation? Bloom nation. They are losing the customer. Forget the percentage of the sale. The customer oh, so they're now. Not, they're not even getting the order. Someone the, else the shop going. will probably get the order as a wire in okay. or through the network. But the point is the customer experience went to Bloom Nation. Right. And that's the problem. So someone could live in Chandler, think they're on Chandler's website right. to mm -hmm. order local to support their local florist. And wind up on Bloom Nation and, and go in the back and not door. even know that they're not on their local florist shop that they wanted. Correct. So as I teach you these things for training, the point is you want to make the shops aware. You know, if they want to not listen to us, they want to hang out. They want to. I don't. Well, what, I don't. I don't know what a florist could be thinking in their mind. Why would they want to not hear what we're showing them and and do something about this? Because you got companies out there like Teleflora, FTD, um, Epic Flower Shops, and there, there, there are many other options out there for people to be able to run their websites. They don't need to be dealing with companies like this. So how do you think they wound up with Nation? They were looking. They, sometimes people just want to skirt the wire industry. They don't want to use a, a Teleflora website. Okay. Even though, and I'll say this to anyone, they, in my opinion, are one of the best values because they do a great job. They stand behind their product. And on Mother's Day Sunday, I was able to reach Telefora when I needed them to shut down websites and not let people order. I was able to reach them on Saturday and Sunday. Their staff was available, and we were updating websites, and they're just beautiful, and they convert better. At the end of the day, we're looking to make money and convert and make our sales efforts more profitable. And this is just playing games. These are smoke and mirrors. So now that you understand this, we can go on to the next step of what I want to show you. But now you understand what this looks like, yes. but it's a shame Chandler Flores has customers being misled away from them into another experience that's not theirs.